Hello, Cozy Tales friends. Welcome. Would you like to hear a story? A story? A story? Would you like to hear a story? A story today? Get cozy on the carpet, on the carpet, on the carpet. Get cozy on the carpet for Cozy Tales today. Let's settle down and listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's settle down and listen for a story right now. Welcome to Cozy Tales. I'm Miss Kathy, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Today, we have a very special story called Art by Patrick McDonald. This is the story of a little boy whose name is Art. Are any of you named Art? Well, whatever your name is, I think you're going to really enjoy this story. And Art likes to make art. Do you know what art is? That's right, art is drawing and painting and sculpture. We have a lot of art here at the Meyer Gardens. So let's read all about art. This is art, right there. That little boy's name is Art. And this is his art. Art and his art. Can you tell them apart? Oh my goodness, what was Art doing? He was painting. I think he was painting himself too. Looks like he was having a lot of fun. When Art is in play, get out of Art's way. Oh, he's busy. If you were in his way, he might paint you. He zigs and he zags. He really gets wired. There's no stopping art when art is inspired. Look at all of those zigzags he made. Art was really busy. He draws scribbles and uh, that squiggle, look at, he drew straight lines there, but those lines look like they're moving. Dots, red, yellow, blue. Splotches with blotches. Oh, he added more colors to all of his splotches. And the curliest Q. Oh, Art went around and around and around and around and around, all the way off the page. Art stares at the paper and uses his noodle. That means he thinks he uses his imagination and his head to conjure up the perfect doodle. What did Art draw? What did he draw? Looks sort of like Art to me. There. And noodles, and doodles need houses, and trees, and cool cars, a dog, a moon, and a billion bright stars. Art dreams, or art, art draws and draws till he flops in a heap. And among his creations, he falls fast asleep. Art's had a busy day making art. Now let's be quiet Shh. to try something we've heard. A picture is worth 
a thousand words. <gasps> Look at Art's picture. Look at the picture. He's got his zigzags and his splotches and his moon and his stars and his tree and his house and his doodle and dog. Art created a beautiful picture. And when he awakes a little bit later, Art sees his art on the refrigerator. Does your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa put your pictures on their refrigerator? It's a wonderful place to hang your artwork or maybe on the wall in your room. Held there by magnets, stars, and a heart. Put there by mother, cause mother loves art. the end. I hope you enjoyed this story about art. You know, I was thinking that your name doesn't have to be art to make art out of your name. So I tried making some art using my grandchildren's name. And my grandson's name is Teddy. And I turned his name into a train. My granddaughter's name is Claire. And her name, I turned into a dragonfly. So you can take your name, you don't have to be named Art to make art, and turn it into some art. And you are able to find directions for how to create your, turn your name into art in the information about this video or on the Meyer Gardens website. So I hope you enjoyed being here with me today. I certainly enjoyed being with you. And it's time to say farewell, farewell, farewell. It's time to say farewell, farewell to all my Cozy Tales friends. I hope you'll be here next week, next week, next week. I hope you'll join us next week for Cozy Tales again. Farewell.